Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Kajirata Online. In this video, I'm going to discuss and give you an idea about a new sensor module that I bought from the AliExpress. So this is a gas sensor for formaldehyde CH2O. Um, this module is cost approximate uh, less than five dollars, and then uh, it's come with this connector, the JST micro connector over here that you can see and then this JST micro connector also are being modified in such a way like this so that it can interact in a simplified manner with your Arduino Uno so I have here is Arduino Uno board together with the CH2 sensor that you can see over here and then they have a pin out uh, from the starting number one on the right corner on the screen that you can see over here one two three until seven they have seven wire however not all wire are being connected and then we are going to learn how to connect this uh, ch2o module together with our arduino uno and then we are going to uh, observe the output from the um, serial monitor in this video uh, it's are going to be simplified like that and then in the near future, perhaps we can also learn about how to interact this module sensor into our IoT devices. So let us dive in into the connections of this module. So before you uh, begin to use this module, uh, let us have a look on the data sheet specifically uh, talk about this module. This module is basically using the UART or also you can connect it using the uh, analog grid function so we have few sketches over here all the link related to the sketch and the libraries are going to be uh, made available in our github page so please have a look to look into that matter if you are interested to learn more about this sensor module that sheet is being shown uh, on the screen right now so let us dive in into the uh, data sheet. So this is the user manual for this ZE08-CH2O module sensor. So this uh, module sensor uh, from the Winson Electronic. As you know, Winson Electronic also produce a lot of um, electrochemical sensor. Uh, beside the CH2O, they have also the um, carbon dioxide and also other gases. So um, when you look into the module, this is the typical layout of the module. So we have a pin over here. So we have seven JST connector that need to be attached with our Arduino so that uh, our microcontroller can read the values from this sensor module. So uh, let us go into the pin out. So this is the generic uh, general pin out of the module over here. You can see we got the number one, number two until number seven and not all the connection are going to be made available towards that so let us uh, have a look into the pin out so the first one that uh, the pin first is actually not being connected and then the second pin is ac uh, actually talking about the dac or we call it as the digital analog converter so by using the pin number two over here actually you can uh, directly use your analog function at the AO okay you have here the Arduino Uno for example and then you can directly use your AO okay that is the first uh, way to connect with your ZH uh, electrochemical sensor so you can connect it like this and then the first pin is not being connected the second pin is actually the DAC uh, that you can connect with the analog function and then uh, we have here also the pin number three which is the ground so you can see on my um, connector over here the first pin is not being connected and then the orange pin over here is actually my analog okay this is my analog and then the third pin the third pin is the ground the brown color over here are going to be connected later on into my ground and then i got the red color over here the pin number four the pin number four as you can see the voltage input is actually approximate 3.7 to 9 volt and then uh, we have the another pin which is the pin number five and pin number six so the pin number five and number six are uh, correspond to this pin 
which is the blue color is actually our UI for the RX and then the TX so um, this pin however you need to understand uh, based on my reading and also comment from the other makers it is already noted that it is need to be connected with the 3.7 volt tolerant therefore you need the voltage divider or similar devices um, such as the bidirectional logic converter something like that to convert our RX over here into the safer 3.3 level shifter so to do that um, in a robust setup I already solder this um, particular resistor over here so the first resistor is actually the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor and then the second is 3.3 kilo ohm resistor so what we need to connect is basically the 5 volt from our RX over here from our Arduino to this uh, resistor and then uh, this one is actually the 3 volt so the 3 volt are going to be attached at the RX of this sensor module and then uh, this pin the end of the pin are going to be attached at the ground of our Arduino so let us dive in into the setup for this module Arduino Uno and then this is our sensor module so the sensor module need to be attached using the GST connector like this make sure that the um, circular compositions of the um, grip is actually on the down side of this sensor so just clip it like that on our JST connector and then it's already attached firmly so make sure that you did not touch anything on the surface of this electrochemical sensor otherwise the reading uh, possibly being influenced by your uh, contaminated hand okay so the next one is actually setting up your breadboard so the reason to use the breadboard is basically to attach our um, voltage divider so I'm going to attach my voltage divider uh, somewhere around here let me just give it a space okay so what I need to connect just now is basically the um, ground and also the 5 volt so make sure that you are firm what kind of connections that you are going to be done they have a few options uh, for example the UART using the um, RX and TX communication and also they have the ability to use also what we call it as the analog read function however the most uh, preferred method or the most um, accurate one will be the RX and TX by UART or serial uh, communication so now I have already connected the 5 volt and also the ground uh, of this Arduino into our sensor and now I left one more which is the uh, what we call it as the data okay so for the UART I'm going to use the soft serial and being connected into the PWM pin number 10 so this is the pin number 10 PWM and then I'm going to attach this 5 volt um, RX uh, on the resistor over here so the reason of this resistor is basically to communicate with our sensor uh, via safer level which is 3.3 volt so let me just connect another one which is the ground so I'm going to use the another jumper wire over here so this is the ground from the resistor side so I'm going to insert to another ground of my Arduino Uno okay so the connection will be like this and then uh, we are going to attach the 3.3 of the sensor over here into our Arduino so I'm going to attach with the RX so this is our RX so now our RX are going to receive the um, RX from the soft serial function uh, from the digital pin number 10 however it's already been converted into a safer level of 3.3 volt so now let's dive in into the code of this project one is actually we are using the um, DF robot HCHO sensor which is the formaldehyde sensor we are going to use the software serial and then we are going to define the software serial at uh, pin number 10 as you can see over here pin number 10 is being attached uh, to our Arduino Uno into our breadboard to safer 
the conditions of the 5 volt into the 3.3 volt to protect our electrochemical sensor over there uh, otherwise it's not tolerate or can broken up our sensor and then we are going to initialize our software serial over here and then we are going to call upon as the HCHO for the height sensor and then we are going to initialize the serial and then we are going to initialize our uh, void loop setup by making sure that um, if HCHO is available and then print up the serial monitor of the reading and then uh, proceed okay we are going to enter the port and then we are going to enter the Arduino Uno and we are going to compile and upload the sketch accordingly so this is the final setup after we upload the code and then we can see that uh, we need to use the TX instead, uh, instead of the RX so um, when we attach the RX over here on the voltage divider that you can see over here let me zoom, I zoom in a bit so you can see um, it's actually reading up the value of our uh, formaldehyde over there so to simulate the idea of the formaldehyde exposure I have here a pen so this is a typical pen used for um, marking any PCB related job so let me just open it for a while and then let it breathe uh, for a few seconds and then you can see there uh, there is uh, inclinations or there is some increase with the level of the ppm um, based on the formaldehyde exposure detected by this electrochemical sensor so um, in the end we are successfully use our arduino uno to uh, receive the electrochemical sensor reading and then display in our serial mode. So based on this project, you can see that we can create uh, electrochemical sensor that are able to detect any uh, deviations of indoor environment. So by using the electrochemical sensor like this, you can actually detect the presence of the formaldehyde. So if you are wondering what is the safer level for the formaldehyde exposure uh, for Malaysia guideline is basically less than 0 0.1 ppm. So if there is any presence of formaldehyde, it can increase the risk uh, of developing a certain health condition which is going to be discussed later on in the future video. Anyway, the project are successfully worked uh, together with the ZEO8 CH2O or we call it as the electrochemical formaldehyde sensor um, together with the Arduino Uno that are already being attached with the serial connection over here at the digital pin number 10 and then it's using the UART communication at the safer level of the 3.3 uh, voltage divider over here so uh, ladies and gentlemen this is the idea of my order if you can see over here the price is around 4.6 uh, times by 2 is actually uh, 2 pieces I ordered 2 pieces uh, to our country and then it's cost me around uh, $13 in uh, summary I would say that uh, this uh, product is quite okay and good uh, because it's able to uh, give me the reading that we want so this is the model ZEC E08 CH2O common type electrochemical sensor uh, module for formaldehyde uh, home decoration for Arduino so if you want to purchase you can go to the all electronics mall uh, to find out this um, item and then this value 13.19 is also include the shipping cost uh, to Malaysia so anyway uh, that is my sum up and summary of this uh, project if you find out that this is uh, very useful please do find uh, the link in the descriptions of this video so that you can uh, try to replicate and also please do suggest and give comment if you got any comment related to this project and also the other Arduino projects that we already published before find out that this video is very useful please do support me with this three click please do like uh, this video please do share it to your friend and family especially for those who are actually conducting any indoor air quality experiment and please do subscribe so that you will not miss our future update again next time thank you guys and bye bye